It seemed like every kid in the 90s had Where in the USA is Carmen San Diego on their school's computers. I remember it being fun yet very difficult. I didn't know anyone who actually won the game. We were tricked into thinking it was just a game though. It was secretly trying to teach us stuff. You sneaky teachers. So during the Fox Kids craze when Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego premiered, I was already well aware of the character and premise. Today on Forgotten Gems, let's try to figure out where on earth is Carmen Sandiego. The show debuted in February of 1994 and spanned over four total seasons when it concluded in January of 1999. Like a lot of great kids shows at the time, Carmen Sandiego featured its very own amazing theme song. I can still hear that opening in my head 25 years later. The plot obviously revolves around Carmen Sandiego, who has become an international thief. Acme agents Ivy and Zack are tasked by their chief to find and capture her. Carmen herself seems to have a code of ethics that she lives by. She was a former Acme agent who decided a life of crime would be more of a challenge for her. She's generous enough to leave Zack and Ivy clues along the way because apparently she just likes toying with them. She was presented more and more as an anti-hero as the show continued sometimes even helping the two Acme agents against mutual enemies. Zack and Ivy are a brother-sister team. Ivy is an expert pilot and a decorated martial artist. She has a short fuse when it comes to Zack, though. I guess little brothers have that effect on lots of people. Zack just seems to be tagging along. He takes these missions less seriously and prefers to just annoy his sister most of the time. The unique thing about this show is that the viewer is treated like they are the player at a computer. Makes sense, as this was based on a PC game. The player is actually taunted by Carmen Sandiego at the beginning and ending of each episode. Like the PC game, this show is designed to trick us into learning something along the way. And you know what? I'm okay with that. As someone who has always been fascinated by history, I was able to learn a little more through each plot and historical facts were often given to us before and after commercial breaks. These were usually related to the item in question that was being stolen by Carmen Sandiego. It provided a little bit more context on why the object was so valuable. We'd even get introduced to new vocabulary words, including foreign languages. Spanning four seasons and 40 episodes, the show was smart and never talked down to the target audience. That was huge for me as a kid. I did not enjoy watching mindless cartoons as much as others did. I needed a little more meat on the bones to keep me interested. The series was even able to take home the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Children's Animated Programming in 1995 and it even got its very own spin-off video game. So a spin-off of a video game got a spin-off of a video game. I'll always remember this show fondly, except for when the theme song gets stuck in my head. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Forgotten Gems. Was Carmen San Diego a part of your childhood? If so, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I hope today's the day that I earned your subscription. Thanks for being a part of my life, and I'll see you next time.